So previously we talked about why it's so important to always have an attachment. Here's the other thing that is important. It is to always make sure that you use a due date. Now you might say, Lance, I don't really use due dates and my students don't use due dates. Well, it's good for information for parents, especially or family members. So if I set a due date, you can set a specific time if you want. Then what ends up happening is when I save this, here's what happens for the student. And I'm going to visit Google Classroom. Let's say a parent or a guardian says, hey, I need you to open up your Google Classroom. Parents and guardians are not super familiar with Google Classroom. So when they look at it, this is what they see. And right here is a spot where it says upcoming. And it shows that there's an attachment ready to go or there is an assignment ready to go. And it even says when it's due. If you don't set a due date, this area does not function. And so it even takes them directly to the assignment. Okay, so that's one big kicker. Now, if you're dealing with older students, they may utilize Google Calendar. So if you click on the Classwork tab and you click on Google Calendar, it takes you to Google Calendar. So that way you can see what is due and when. And so now the student would be able to see any assignments that are due. They could switch this to the next week. And there's the assignment residing right there. Pretty fantastic. When they click on it, it'll show that it has a link directly to the assignment in Classroom. So when they click on it, it's going to open in a new link, a new tab, and I'm right there ready to go with my attachments ready to fire off as a student. So this is fantastic because this allows the student to utilize this Google Calendar so seamlessly with Google Classroom. So please always set a due date.